welcome to another youtube tutorial in this video we will talk about the transitioning from one view controller to another view controller using ui storyboard segways ui storyboard segway is an object that performs the visual transitions between two view controllers in other words segway will have a starting point which can be a button tap gesture table row or the view controller itself and a destination point which is the view controller you want to display before we start creating the segways let's talk about segway types first we have a bunch of segway types available to use based on our needs and some of them are show show details present modally present as popover and some depreciated ones such as push model popover replace and custom i will not talk about all these segway types to save the time i will leave a link in the description below for you guys to read thoroughly however we will discuss the most commonly used segway types one of them is show and another one is present modally to create a push segue, the parent view controller needs to be embedded in navigation controller. The navigation controller provides a navigation bar. Once you have the destination view controller presented, the navigation bar will appear automatically on top of it. In present model segue, the destination view controller appears on top of the original view controller but there are certain options you can choose from how you want to present the destination view controller by default it comes in a card form where you can simply drag it to the bottom and dismiss this view controller another option we have is the full screen where this the destination view controller will cover the entire screen of grant view controller enough talking now let's start creating the segway as i said the starting point of segway can be a table row a button a view controller itself we will use this button as the starting point all we have to do is select the button press the control key and simply drag to the view controller you want to present to the user and then select the type of the segway we will choose show in this case a connection has been created from this button to this new view controller and if we select this connection go to our attribute inspector you can see this segue has an identifier and of kind show you can select other adaptive segue types based on your needs but we will leave show for now and make sure you assign an identifier to this segue we will call this identifier as green segue this identifier makes sure the transition happens to the right view controller if view controller has one too many relationships we will talk about the relationships in a moment if we build our application now you can see if we press the let's go button the green view controller is presented and we can simply dismiss this by dragging it downwards as explained earlier the show navigation works best by embedding this main view controller into a navigation view controller since we don't have the navigation controller stacked this will work as present modally you can also change the type to present modally and now we have the presentation styles as well on these list of styles we can select full screen and then if we rerun the application you will see our new destination view controller will cover the entire screen from our previous view controller now let's talk about the relationship between the ui kit elements from where the segue is initiated and the destination view controllers under any ui kit element if you simply drag and drop a segue from that element to the destination view controller you can have only one to one relationship it means that you can have only one segue action performed from one ui kit element such that from this button to one destination view controller so if we try to create another segue from the same button and select the type the original view controller segue will be deleted and the new destination will be mapped you must be wondering then what other options do we have what if we want to present the both view controllers based on certain criteria for example if user has not logged in we want to send the user to the yellow view controller 
but if they were logged in or if they were authenticated successfully we want to show the green view controller in order to achieve that we have to simply select the view controller and then we can press the control key drag this line to the destination view controller select the view controller segue type similarly we can create another connection segue from this view controller to another view controller based on the type you want the learned lesson is that we can create one to many relationships from view controller to view controllers on based on different segways but only one to one relationship can be created from certain ui kit elements such as button in our case if we try to run our application nothing will happen if we press the let's go button the reason behind it is because now this button is not directly linked to any of these segways however this view controller is the one which should be responsible for handling the transition how can we show these one of these two view controllers in order to show the transition between the parent view to another destination view controllers if you have multiple segways pointing towards different destination view controllers make sure you assign an identifier to each of them this will help the segway methods to perform the transition based on the right identifier that is something what we will do for the yellow view controller we will assign a identifier called yellow segway and for the green view controller we will assign an identifier to this segway called green segway once we have the identifiers assigned we need to perform the transition based on this button press so we will make sure we have a connection established to this button as you can see i have a method associated with this button in order to perform the transition we utilize a method called perform segue with identifier so if you can see the with identifier is a string and this string can be the same string which we assigned earlier to one of these segue identifiers so just to show you we will simply just go to the yellow segue and then we want the sender to be self if we run our application now and press the let's go but you can see the yellow view is presented similarly if we change this to green segue and build our product you can see the green view will be presented this is still not something what we wanted so based on our original agreement we wanted to send the users to the yellow view controller if they haven't authenticated and similarly if they were authenticated then we wanted to present the green screen in order to achieve that goal what we can do is in this scenario since this is not a live project or this is not hooked up to any backend service we can simply create is authenticated boolean what we can do is we can check if user is authenticated we can perform segue with identifier for green segue and then the sender to self else what we want is we want to perform the segue again with the yellow screen so we want the send we want to send the user to the yellow view controller where they can do some stuff let's build our project and if i click on let's go button you can see we have taken to the green screen the reason why because we set the boolean to be true value by default and if we change this to value false we should be able to see the yellow screen so this seems to be working based on our one boolean value we can simply perform the segue transitions to one or another view controller as you can see the transition happens based on the identifier of the segue and our condition in here so let's talk about cancelling this segue or also known as unwinding the segue the reason why we want to unwind is for example if you had this present modally as a full screen segue there is no way for the user to go back to the original position and we can test it by building our application so as you can see if we click on let's go button the green screen is open but there is no way we can go back to the original view controller 
uh, what if user wanted to do something in the previous screen so that is where the unwinding segue comes into place and that is pretty easy as well so what we have to do is we need to go to the original view controller which we want to show and then create an iv action function you can name it to whatever you want i will say unwind and this function should take a parameter called segue of type ui storyboard segue and leave this function empty once we have the function defined we will go back to the main dot uh, storyboard file you can select this button as an action so what we want is we want the user to press this button and then go back to the previous screen all you have to do is control drag from this to this exit icon in here make sure the last third one the exit icon you drop into that and you will have that function called unwind this unwinding is because it's taking a ui storyboard segue and we are unwinding from this view controller the green view controller to the uh, original pink view controller this should take us back to the original view controller so let's build our application and see what happens so if we click on let's go we are presented on the green screen and then if we click on this one the view controller dismisses itself one of the common concepts used in transitioning is to pass the data from one view controller to another view controller there can be number of use cases for example your user signed in to this screen when they press this let's go button or sign in button they are taken to this green screen here you want to present a different application data based on their previous input probably based on their user id or something like that so um, this is a common use case where you have to pass the data from this view controller to another view controller I have modified our project and added a label into it connected with uh, an IV outlet for this view controller so in order to receive the data from previous view controller we should have a variable in the current view controller the type of that variable should be the same object to that model you created and if it's a string the new variable should be string so what we will do is we will mimic that we are presenting the user name to the current view controller to the green view controller i will create a variable called username and which is a type of string we will just do the checking on make sure the username is not nil and finally we will assign our username label text to the username which we have passed from the previous view controller back in the original view controller in order to pass the data to the next view controller we utilize a function called prepare for segue as the name stands this function prepares the view controllers before the transition happens hence this method takes a segue we can make sure the data being passed to the destination view controller is the same destination view controller which we want segue has attribute called identifier so we can make sure if segue's identifier is equal to let's say green view green segue in our case we want to make sure the destination view controller is the segue's destination as our second view controller now we should have access to the destination vc's username variable and we can assign anything as a value from this view controller so if i say john doe and we rerun the project we go to the green view controller as you can see the name value the value has been passed to this view controller based on what we provided in the original view controller again this was just an example to show you how you can pass the data from the previous view controller to the next one but most likely when you're dealing with the backend servers this static content is always dynamic it could be something say user id you obtained from the backend service or it can be an image object you obtained from that backend service as well if we try to cancel the ui segue and we can cancel we can go back to the original screen and in the original screen if we change the authentication to false we still have that functioning 
method to check if user is not logged in they should be redirected to the yellow view controller so there is a crash because we have we should have this value optional and here you go the yellow view controller is presented once again so that's it from me guys i hope this makes uh, sense and if you feel like you learned something smash that like button and share this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you want me to add some extra details we can cover another video and your comments are always appreciated thank you very much